I've been meaning to get these spare tires tidied up for ages. Well, Curtis, once we build this tire shed, you'll be able to keep them all out of your way. Fantastic! <sighs> Whoa! Look out, Bob! I've got it! <gasps> Phew! Thanks, Bob. That one almost got away. Good morning, all. Where are we going today, Bob? Next door to Curtis's garage. Curtis! We like Curtis. We're going to build Curtis a tire shed to keep all his spare tires safely out of the way. Instead of laying around where some people keep tripping over them. People like you, Leo? Um, yeah. Two-ton? We've already got the materials for today's job. Ah, but these are your general supplies, Bob. Wood, cement, gravel, and bricks. Oh. This delivery was supposed to arrive tomorrow. It arrived earlier than expected, Wendy. I can't take it back, and this is just the first load. Don't worry. We'll deal with it, Two-Ton. Wendy, Scoop, Dizzy, and I will go to the garage and begin building Curtis's tire shed, while Leo, Lofty, and Muck can put away the delivery. Can we store it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Lots of lovely, fresh, crunchy gravel for me to shovel. <laughs> Whoa, Pilchard! Look out! Muck, <gasps> we're supposed to be putting things away, not making masses of mess. Sorry, but Pilchard got in my way, Lofty. We have to be extra careful around her. Here's the second load of supplies, Leo. Okay, Tutan. I remember delivering supplies in the Sahara Desert once. It was so hot, it almost melted my... Pilchard! Whoa! Pilchard, careful. Leo! Pilchard stuck on the roof! Hey, Pilchy, Pilchy, Pilchard. I'll catch you. Come on. Cats are good at jumping. Uh, <laughs> meant to do that. I don't think I can carry on if Pilcher keeps getting in the way. What if she gets hurt? I'll put her in Bob's kitchen, Muck. She'll be safe there. <laughs> 